Mm, all right. All right, you fucking dickhead, you fucking bloody cunts. It's fucking Bogan fucking back here today. F cunts. Fucking bloody Bogan fucking Bogan back here today. Oh, you bloody cunts. It's fucking Bogan back here today. Bloody fucking vaping fucking Bogan back here today. Hey, fucking Bogan fucking cunts. Cunt fucking Bogan. It's he Bogan's here today. Fucking. All right, his impression of me was much better than my impression of him. Well, what's up, everybody? It's Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. We're doing another vape thing. We got Bogan's Odin regulated mod right here. Dual 21 700 DNA 250C. It's just a honker of a beast of a mod. So much battery life, so much power, so much... Bogan! So yeah, it's honestly a real nice looking mod. This is the grayish gunmetal you can see right there. DNA 250C. Here's all your adjustment buttons. Micro USB right there for interfacing with the eScribe software as well as I believe you can charge it, but don't charge it through that. You got a clicky button up here. It's a nice Nice little click. Huge 510 platform right here for almost any RDA you can possibly imagine. They say up to a 30 millimeter atomizer and I luckily have this 30 millimeter atomizer, this Death Trap 2, fits on there freaking flawlessly. No overhang, no overhang on the back, no overhang on the sides, no overhang on the front. And you're also probably going to notice that these are all sort of like swooped down a little bit. This is something I mentioned in vlogs in the past, but if your atomizer starts leaking, if I get some leaking out of here, there's nowhere for the juice to sort of pool. It's just the only option is for it to drip down your mod. So just don't over drip, don't have a leaky atomizer. I guess that's how you solve that problem. It honestly kind of looked like a little bit of an awkward shape when I first looked at it. It was kind of, I'm like, well, that looks asmodis to me. It looks kind of Minikin 2-ish. I feel like I would hold it like I did those mods, like a bad mitten racket. Use the bad mitten racket technique. And that is, I'm gonna be hitting the button with my thumb, so I'm kinda of gonna grip it like this, hit the button with my thumb, kind of like you would hold a bad mitten. Alternatively, if you prefer to fire your mod with your finger like I do, then you can kind of do the reverse badminton where my thumb kind of goes up the back, like goes up the spine of it, and then your finger just sort of rests right there like, very ergonomically, if you kind of just press this into your hand, wrap your fingers around, it's a real, real comfortable hold. Plenty, plenty, plenty of power from the DNA 250C. And even though it is a DNA 250C, this only goes up to 200 watts. The battery door on the bottom is pretty standard issue. It's one of those like you press it and it kind of pops open. There's just a little trap door right there. Batteries come out. The sled is pretty fairly clearly marked. You can kind of see positive and negative right there. So you want this with the positive facing down. You want this with the negative facing down. You can kind of push this over, snap it, snap it, snap it back. It truly and honestly does take like a little bit of effort. You have to really kind of push this over, really give it a firm press down and then sort of snap it back into place. And after you get this door shut, it just feels insanely nice, insanely secure, real beefy, real sort of rugged, durable feeling. It's just a, a nice confident feeling to have in your mod when it feels this, this durable, this beefy. Damn, it just, it vapes real well. It's real precise with the wattage. The DNA 250C is a pretty spectacular board that I haven't spent a lot of time with, but the more I use it, the more I enjoy it. Just every single day, my enjoyment level goes up with the DNA 250C. The mod itself with that DNA 250C, real quick and responsive, handles like a sports car. You just, you can press the button, fires instantly, instantly. There's no delay, there's no lag. It's just instant power right to your coils, right into your mouth hole. 
Now, they're not exactly giving these away, so let's get down to brass tacks here. You're gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check out the Odin by Vaping Bogan and Vapor's Cloud and Dovpo, sorry, and Dovpo. A lot of names attached to this one right here. Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe a little bit, and by maybe a little bit, I mean definitely a lot of bit. Clicking around the internet seems to be about 180, 170 to 180 dollars, which is definitely in vape budget hands territory. I mean, if we were gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they came and took everything I had and I got nothing left to vape, is this something I'm gonna seek out like and buy right away? Here's the thing. It's a beast. It's a beast and I absolutely love using it. I see the Odin as one of those just obscenely reliable devices. I wanna try all of my toppers on it. I use it for when I'm building, when I'm pulsing coils. It's a great, reliable sort of go-to regulated device. And as far as I know is one of the very few regulated dual 21 700 devices out on the market. Listen, my memory's not great, but this could be the only dual 21 700 DNA 250C mod on the market. If you just want the best battery life powered by one of the best boards in a beefy, rugged, comfortable, durable design that can literally take anything that you throw at it, including 30 millimeter atomizers, then honestly, the Odin is kind of the only game in town for that. And if I'm being real, really very honest, I, I love using this. I, I honestly just love holding this. It doesn't look super ergonomic. You're just gonna have to take my word. It's really stupid comfortable to hold and use. It is vape budget hands. So if it's something I would want, I would have to save up for it and buy it, which in this case, damn it. <laughs> I probably would. Literally up until this point, I was counting the Vaporesso Gen as like my favorite regulated mod of the year. And it's still incredible. I still absolutely love everything about it. But the amount that I have been using this Odin kind of puts the Vaporesso Gen to shame. I reach for this like 99% of the time now. Anyway, it is what it is. Links are not allowed in the description. Thank you, YouTube. So you're gonna have to use your Google Foo. But that's what I got for today, everybody. As always, thank you so much for watching. And no matter what's in your hand or what any crooked politician tells you, absolutely yes, let's keep on vaping.